and today let us talk about the extra mile effect before we come to that let us have a look at matthew 5 48 but you must always act like your father in heaven our father in heaven is god god is good to the righteous and the unrighteous he sends rain and sunshine to the good and the bad he gives blessings to the good and the bad he does not withhold sunshine or rain or blessings from those who are bad he gives them their needs so also we are to be like our heavenly father in the days of the roman empire a roman soldier could legally force a jewish civilian to carry his heavy backpack for up to a mile that was his right and to refuse to do so was at one's own peril one may be arrested or be crucified or be tortured or lose his job so to walk the first mile was to do only what was required but jesus came along and said if someone forces you to go one mile go with him too matthew 5:41 why is this? Because extra mile service gives you the opportunity to impact the lives of others. In order to be extraordinary, you have to do extraordinary things. You cannot expect to be extraordinary and just do ordinary things like everybody else. Fulfilling one's own duties like everybody else. We have to go the extra mile personally as a teacher i also realize that it's always the extra mile that makes students remember you if you just take your class what you should do do your duty not many will remember you but if you notice if a student is down if you care if you give extra explanation or help or counseling it is those extra mile efforts that make a difference. It is those extra mile efforts that make them remember you years and years after they have left the college or the school. <clears throat> Jesus also said in Matthew 5, 46 to 48, If you love only your family and friends and those who love you, will God reward you for that? Even tax collectors and bad persons love their friends. If you greet only your friends, what's so great about that? Don't even unbelievers do that? But you must act like your father in heaven. Recently, I have a feeling that we won't be having too many months or years of freedom to evangelize or to talk and share about god's word i also realize that we have to get ready we have to be pure and check ourselves so i have been praying to god see if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting see if there is anything wrong anything bad anything not perfect in me and lead me in the way everlasting then I feel the nudge of God that old woman who stays near your house and who always complain about things going to her place who always complain about every small thing who always find every reason to complain and find fault and talk badly about you you should go and see her she's not well and i was thinking it's not easy but i will go so i went and visit her she was sick she could not eat anymore i visited her sat for a while and gave her some money to help with her medicines then i came back home and i felt better and i also see that the attitude of those around her also change they seem to look at me differently they seem to like me better for doing that